What do you know about the world's greatest airship disaster? Many immediately think of the Hindenburg, the fiery catastrophe that shook the world in 1937. But before that, a lesser known, yet even deadlier, tragedy unfolded. A disaster that marked the decline of airships in the United States. Today, we'll explore the history of airships, why they used hydrogen, the tragedy of the USS Akron, and the unforgettable Hindenburg disaster. The story of airships began in France in 1783 when engineer Jean-Baptiste Musnier envisioned the dirigible, a steerable airship with an internal framework and propellers. His designs inspired inventors worldwide. In 1852, Henri Gifford took airships to new heights, literally with the first steam-powered hydrogen balloon equipped with steering controls. But it was Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin who revolutionized the field. In the late 19th century, he patented the rigid airship, a design that would dominate the skies for decades. Hydrogen was the backbone of early airships. Its extreme lightness made it the perfect lifting gas, enabling airships to carry heavy loads and passengers over long distances. It was abundant, cheap and efficient. Hydrogen came with a significant risk. It's highly flammable. A single spark or static discharge could ignite a devastating fire. This inherent danger loomed over airship travel, but engineers at the time believed the benefits outweighed the risks. On the evening of April 3, 1933, the USS Akron, a rigid airship operated by the US Navy, embarked on a routine mission along the New Jersey coast. At 785 feet long, the Akron was an engineering marvel, even doubling as a flying aircraft carrier capable of launching and retrieving small planes. But as it flew into severe weather, violent gusts overwhelmed the massive airship. Its tail struck the ocean and the Akron rapidly broke apart and sank into the stormy Atlantic. Of the 76 people aboard, only three survived. 73 lives were lost, many to drowning and hypothermia. Tragically, the crew had not been equipped with life jackets and there was no time to deploy the single life raft. Among those who perished were Rear Admiral William A. Moffat, known as the father of naval aviation, and Captain Frank McCord, the Akron's commanding officer. The loss of the Akron was a devastating blow to the US Navy's airship program. Four years later, on May 6, 1937, tragedy struck again, this time on a global stage. The German airship Hindenburg, a symbol of luxury and technological achievement, was attempting to land in Lakehurst, New Jersey. The Hindenburg, filled with highly flammable hydrogen, suddenly ignited. Within seconds, it was consumed by flames. 36 lives were lost in the disaster, and the dramatic images of the burning airship were broadcast worldwide shocking the public and marking the end of passenger airship travel. The Hindenburg had been a floating palace in the sky, offering passengers fine dining, comfortable cabins and panoramic views. But the disaster revealed the fatal flaw of hydrogen-filled airships cementing their fate in aviation history. The Hindenburg and Akron disasters marked the end of rigid airships as a mainstream mode of transportation. However, airships never completely disappeared. Today, helium-filled blimps, which are non-flammable, are used for advertising, surveillance and research. But what about the future? Advances in materials and technology could bring airships back in new forms. With a focus on sustainable aviation and renewable energy, airships may play a role in cargo transport, scientific exploration or even eco-friendly tourism. What do you think about the future of airships? Could they make a comeback in the skies or have they been grounded for good? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more stories from the golden age of innovation.